All right, hello everybody, good to see you. Sorry, my mic was positioned away from my face. There we go. Thank you so much for joining me, or uh, yeah, joining me again. Fantastic, I'm doing so good, man. You know what's delicious? Carbs. Toast? Come on now. It's the little things in life. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Paul Tranny. Evangelist for Adobe. I'm going to dive into this Photoshop Masterclass where we get to have fun because that's what I think Fridays are all about. Having a good time because uh, I know I have a good time on Fridays. So thanks so much for joining me. Um, should be live everywhere. And uh, rocking and rolling. Fantastic. So let's do this. Let's just kind of have some fun. Uh, earlier today, we obviously did a lot of brainstorming and um, we're going to, you know, keep those creative juices flowing by doing some space fish and, you know, contrasts, that sort of thing. Carbs are so delicious. Toast with like jam and peanut butter. Come on. It's like a it's a, it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for adults. That's what I just had. So good. I'm just like, oh, there's still a little bit over it, over there. So anyway, here we have, uh, you know, I just thought we'd, I have this good idea for this design that I want to kind of execute on. Going to give me an hour, give me, give me a cup of coffee, and we're going to get this done. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have your toast or your coffee, and you're having a good day. A big thank you to... Um, oh, Terry White and everybody presenting today, including good old Sam Peterson. He is the man. So yeah, uh, let's dive into this. Here's my, um, you know, obviously my astronaut. I have this astronaut as well. He's super cool, right? I have another astronaut. This is actually an astronaut. It's a model of uh, an astronaut suit, right? So it's a little fake, so I'm not crazy about it. There's also this one, which is the same photo it's not an actual astronaut suit. It still might work. But these are some astronauts that I obviously have. Okay. We also have um, a bunch of beta fish. Oh, you had a potato salad? That's good too. Carbs. Come on, baby. Carbs for the win. Astronaut NFT. Oh, help us all. Uh, uh beet tomato juice this morning wow jennifer pool is so fancy like look at how healthy you are but also look at all these gorgeous beta fish oh come on they're like eh. Ooh, we're luxurious like if if a fish wore a ball gown it would be a beta fish it's just all these fish in these gorgeous ball gowns because they're they're out uh you know having a good night on the town right it's a nice night, and they're just they're here. They're just here to show off, like they're all showing off. See this one right here. So this should be really easy to extract, right? So we're gonna extract these and make them part of our uh, scene. Yes, they do rock. Does anybody have fish in chat? And like, tell me about that. Do you take it for walks, or like, what do you do? Totally interested. So easiest thing I typically do is right over here, uh, remove background. Let's zoom in on that. Zoop, right there under the in the properties panel it's what i do all the time because again it's so easy uh remove background remove those blacks give it a second let it do its thing yeah oh man imagine if a beta fish met a peacock the fish would be like you're gorgeous i love your i love your fins and the peacock would be like your feathers are gorgeous they would just both like be just like they would be friends they wouldn't be able to communicate but they would be like we're best friends aren't we they'd be like did we just become best friends that's what would happen you know they'd be friends or would they be kind of like kind of like n k not nice to the other one because they're like oh more competition it's like hey man i'm a fish all right, we'll grab some of this. By the way, we could always use, um, if you go to, we could use color range. The thing about color range, color range is gonna get all the blacks and darks. 
like within the actual um, fin and tail. So that's why I didn't use color range, right? Um, yeah, there's other ways too, but honestly, I just like the, the, the one button magic. Cause again, that's probably the easiest to do. Okay, there we are. Boom. Uh, Siamese, yeah, Siamese fighting fish. I, I think you're right. Um, cool. Yeah, where do beta fish come from? I feel like they're like, a, I don't know, sort of like an East Asia um, import, I guess. I don't know. This is this is a Photoshop stream. I don't know if uh, you know National Geographic has streams. That's who I would ask, but I'd love to know. There are all sorts of different beta fish, just so you know. Uh, and I got these from Adobe Stock, just so you know. And click over. Here they are. That's where I pulled them down from. You could always uh, switch to free. Um, and, you know, we'll just search fish. So there's some free fish out here in Adobe Stock. We'll give it a second. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. So we have a bunch of free fish that we could actually extract as well. So if you can, in case you want to follow along. Okay, done. All right, but I have a number of things going on. So there's one, boom. Let's do this really fast. I, I wanna get this knocked out as quickly as possible. Uh, remove background. A lot of times I'll remove background, but also what I'll do is I will just turn this into a smart object, right? So that's the plan, boom, smart object. Shortcut key that I can't tell you about, right? We're just removing all those. Remove background. So again, it's nice, remove background, wouldn't, doesn't select this white. So that's the easiest thing we could do. The reason I'm making this a smart object is I can go and clean up that mask later on, right? But for you to be entertained, I gotta make it happen fast. Sean's so demanding. Oh, I would love it if now, oh man, imagine the, what a good combo, Sean. What if you had, you, you kind of need a, like a zoologist or an animal expert talking about tigers while you have an artist or someone like, you know, sort of illustrating a tiger or something like that. I think that would make for a cool stream. So you could talk about animals, right? Learn about animals and uh, uh, have some awesome art happen at the same time. All right, so we have a number of fish. Here they all are. We actually have more that we can use as well. Okay, I can drag these over. So uh, so this is the idea, kind of, oh shoot, there's two of those. Um, looking at these fish, you would think, geez, this is like, it, it just looks almost otherworldly. And, uh, and it looks like it's obviously like floating through the, through the sky. So that's kind of the thoughts. It's so exotic, it could look like it's from another world. So uh, that's the impetus for this design. Oh, an animal channel, a cooking channel. A uh, cooking channel would be really fun. Uh, would you guys ever watch, actually this is a good question for you guys, would you guys ever watch like a design, like sort of a graphic design competition on TV, like they have Great British Bake Off or, you know, Forged in Fire. Um, they have the pottery one should there be a graphic design one? I know there's art. There's a uh, work of art is uh, a reality show that has been, I don't know, I'll just say on TV, but like wondering if you guys would watch something like that on Netflix, if there was like a graphic design competition or some creative di design, like visual design. I'm just kind of curious. I mean, I'm asking the right audience. You guys are of course going to say yes. But I'm just, I'm just trying to think, would, would that work? And how can we get that off the ground? Because that's something I've been thinking about. Uh, yeah, Arsalan's seen um, uh, Adobe competitions for designing. Yeah, we, we've had them, but it's like, you know what? There hasn't been a Netflix show. So, um, so yeah, that's just kind of like an idea. I'm knocking around and uh, we'll see what happens. It obviously takes some funding. You got to get a network to to basically buy it and all that good stuff. So 
Anyways, maybe that will happen someday. Wouldn't that be cool? All right. So, and thank you all this morning. We kind of went through some creative exercises, right? And it's just, it's fun to be, I don't know, it's fun to be silly and just think, think about things in a different way. That's all. Like play with size, play with the, whatever you're doing, do the opposite of it, right? So that's the idea. It's like, okay, what's the opposite of the sky is the, is the, is water, right? That's, this is an easy connection to make, right? And all of a sudden it's creative, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, we have this astronaut. I'm like, I'm digging this astronaut right here. This guy's pretty cool because he's so clean. But what I want to have um, is um, like an astronaut that um, is kind of like in space. And I want these fish swimming in space kind of around him, around his helmet. Uh, I would love to have the astronaut's hand out in front. So that's also something I might look at. So let's just jump out there. Change this to all. Okay, is there, it's, uh, so, yeah, everybody's done a show like that. So Glenn, Glenn Lambert, is there something called the graphic design show on, on, on Netflix or is that what you're pitching? Because I think it would be cool. I'm just making sure it hasn't been done before. There's been a photography one too, I think. Ooh, Pixel Squid, thank you, Sean. Thank you so much for mentioning that. So this, this might even work, this one, maybe, but I'm not crazy. This isn't bad. I'm not crazy on the angle, right? I don't want this top down view. I want more of a sort of straight at you look is what I personally am uh, thinking about. Okay. But yeah, we'll go ahead and download that one just for fun. And let's try Pixel Squid as well. Okay, good. It was uh, you love the idea. It was my idea. I know. I'm actually asking around about it, um, and I'm just trying to flesh out kind of like what that would look like. You know, chances are, of course, it'd be just like any of the other challenges. You're given a theme, or you're you're given uh, you know the opportunity to design something with constraints. So you have a challenge a day, and then you have your bigger. Um, sort of design challenge for the week um, is uh, what I'm thinking. So that's all. Thank you so much, Cody Bear, for posting that. Pixel Squid's awesome. So what I did is I went out to Adobe Stock, saw some cool photos, don't quite have the angle that I like, going to Pixel Squid. They have 3D renderings, hopefully. Actually, we'll just see what they have. We'll search right up here, Astronaut. Boom, we have uh, astronauts. And like, oh, the NASA astronaut. That's what I'm that's what I'm looking for. He's kind of floating around. I would love to have his arm out a little bit more. Uh, but that could totally work. All right. He should already be added to my Photoshop lightbox. Oh, Chinese spacesuit. These are fun to look at. Ooh, an astronaut glove. So this might work if I just do compositing and I composite this glove with um, the uh, astronaut. Okay. Cool, let's make this happen. We, man, come on. We're getting paid by the project, not by the hour. So we're gonna move fast. That is the goal right in here. Here's the Pixel Squid uh, plugin, by the way. You can go to plugins, browse plugins, get that plugin. There's also others, so you could use Free Stock Search. So one thing I didn't do is I could use this, Free Stock Search Pro, go out here, see if we have astronaut. Come on, Paul, hurry up, right? And again, exploit all of our all of our resources. Not quite anything in here, but what there is, this fun sky backgrounds. So that might look cool. I think if, there we go. 
So free stock search, that might be a good background that I might end up using. So let's just tuck that back there and get the idea. Back in here, let's add our space suit and get this party started. Ooh, put a dog in the astronaut suit. What if you put a cat in the astronaut suit and then you had these fish floating around? Cat's like, whoa, look at, the, look at these lovely fish. They're amazing. Right, so that's the idea. Okay, so there is our astronaut floating through space. And I just love the idea of playing with depth as well. So let's turn on high resolution, right? We'll see it kind of come into view in a second. Ready? Hopefully. Ready? Load, 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 load. Come on, get crisp on me. From low res to high res. Bam! There we are. Perfect. Sweet. Oh, you know, this one's kind of growing on me. Um, let's turn off shadows. Yeah, with the cat and the fish. Wouldn't you love to see that, Michelle? I would just love the idea of having a cat in there and be like, whoa, look at these. There are fish in space. Wow. All right, enough being silly. Let's have this refresh. I'm not seeing the astronaut glove. Because that's the next thing I want to try. Right in here, astronaut glove. Come on, buddy. Add to Photoshop Lightbox. That's what I'm adding it to. Because in this panel, sure enough, um, is uh, where it should add it. There it is. Boom. Got it. A cat astronaut. Slow clap for fairy. Good stuff. A cat astronaut. I'm totally going to steal that. That's so good. I love me a good pun. All right, we could, we could kind of make this work, I think. All right, so there it is. We'll, we'll do some tight cropping, right? So we don't have to worry about this too much, but let's just kind of get that like that. There we go. We'll change the color. I'm probably, again, going to crop it down, so you're not really going to notice. Um, you're not going to have the whole... Let's turn this other stuff off the whole suit so there it is I'm gonna convert that to another smart object I don't know why let's undo that um, all right so command L as we notice this is brighter than the background so we can kind of just make that match a little better, like so. Click OK. Take this, mask out this part. Uh, deselect. Okay. Let me just go to work, Paul. I got to get to work, folks. I got to get work done. Wow, it's been a while. Gravity. Do you guys like... Space movies? Anyone? <laughs> Alright, that's what I want. I'm gonna rasterize this. We're gonna just take this chunk right here. That's all I want. Go in here. Bam, bam. Oh no. Oh, that's so fascinating. Let's give it a second. Yeah, I gotta color the other hand too. I, d I haven't decided what color I want the uh, gloves. And I can't understand why this is not changing. There we go, it's back. All 
Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Don't even need that chunk. We'll just do that. Cool. Um, yeah, I might need to. All right, so let's do that now, folks. Let's get to work. Uh, we will use the quick selection tool. Or not. Uh, oh, drag that around. Up there, down this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. using my mouse. There we go. This club. Eye. Eyedropper. Fill it in. That foreground color. Clip it to that glove. Bam. Go in and just change uh, the blend mode. Is what at least we're going to try initially. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Overlay. Right? Gives us, gets us really close to what we want. Right? Still think it's a little bright, but man, that looks pretty good. All right. There's a lot of Mars. Re oh, you know what? I'm over Mars. I'm not interested in a cold, dead planet. But I love, I guess I love fantasy and stuff like that. So. Okay, I had to tighten this up, by the way. I had to jump out to my, uh, use my lovely Wacom which is what I should have used a second ago, but it's also, my mic is like right in the way of it. So it's kind of sometimes hard to use with on streams. So there we go, we have the glove. Let's get our little fishies in here. Favorite sci-fi movie. Favorite, I don't know, is it okay to say, say favorite sci-fi movie, so science fiction, not necessarily fantasy, so don't tell me Lord of the Rings, but favorite science fiction movie, anyone? Space Fish. There are so many. Uh, John Carter's Mars Isn't Dead, you're exactly right. Ad Astra? <laughs> Umicord, you said uh, you saw Ad Astra but forgot what it was about. Oh, that is funny. Because you want to blame yourself. You're like, do I have a horrible memory? Or was it just like not that memorable of a show, obviously? 2001 Space Out. If you love 12 Monkeys, too. Fifth Element, classic. You watch that over and over again as well. Uh, Stargate as well. The Martian, super. Oh, couple, couple of uh, Fifth Elements. Transformers, Interstellar, yeah. What about uh, Flash Gordon, anyone? Flash Gordon. Flash. Uh, savior, every one of us. Something like that. I can't even remember it. Written by Queen, of all, of all people. Of all groups, of all bands. This theme song was written by Queen or performed by a queen. <laughs> Written and performed. Buck Rogers, love it. Heavy metal. Oh, heavy metal's awesome, wow. I don't even know if I've seen all of the heavy metal movie, is that right? Oh, how fun would that be? So I typically keep an archive of all this stuff that I end up using a lot. You can see all these astronauts and planets and stuff. We'll go down here. This is a sky or stars that I often use, right? This seems to work pretty well. Um, yeah, so he's the quarterback for the New York Jets. Flash Gordon. Kind of before my time. Yeah, they wrote the entire score. Oh, wow. All right, so there we go. We have this. Let's make this super stellar. We have the hand. We will just put that in a, 
I don't know. A lot of this stuff that I end up collecting, I'm like, I'm not 100% sure I don't need it, so I will typically tuck it away in another little file. So we'll just have sort of resources that I usually put on top, but now we kind of have what we want. Uh, get to go, boom, boom. Get the fish in there. So what if these fish, I like this idea of having, like, giving these fish like a magical glow. Barbarella, wow. Reverb Mike, I wanna ask your age, but I won't. I am 47 in case anybody cares. So what was big for me was Star Wars, was a big show, obviously. The original came out in what, 80, 79? Um, so I like Star Wars a lot, of course, just like anybody else. Uh, what about Krull? The Legend of Krull? Serenity? Love Serenity? Oh man, we're gonna be friends. Garth, I just decided. Did we just become best friends, Garth? I think we did. <laughs> Alright, so now we can have some fun with this depth, right? So we have that hand, we have this beta fish. Like, he could kind of be trying to grab it, right? We do have an issue with the blacks that will work out later, okay? But uh, there's our space fish. I think the astronaut needs more contrast, so that's what we'll add. Escape, Command L. Actually, cancel. Let's do a... Oh. Curves adjustment layer on the astronaut suit. And we're just gonna kind of give it more contrast to make it match the beta fish and uh, just kind of enhance the scene some. Firefly Serenity, come on now. Yeah, Wade, we're best friends too, man. Love Serenity. Love uh, Firefly. That's one worth uh, watching over and over. Maybe we'll bring this in a little bit. Or not. All right, that's, that's looking a little better. I don't know, just throw some levels on top of this guy. Maybe make him a little bit darker. All right. The another issue here is like the clarity. Look at look at the crispness of this beta fish versus the glove. So we need to get to that level of crispness is the goal. So I'm just gonna be a hack and actually no, I'm not gonna be a hack. I'm gonna go to camera raw filter. So I wanna add some clarity to this. Uh, Andromeda Strain, Empire Rapper, Records is good. What about uh, Gattaca? Anybody remember Gattaca? Guy wants to be a pilot, so guy sells him his identity. He has to get his legs broken because he needed to extend his legs by a couple inches so he could be the right height as uh, the person's uh, identity. So I'm just increasing it, increasing the detail. So I'm sharpening this using uh, my camera raw, right? We'll click OK. And then, so we did make it sharper. So now we have that level of clarity that matches. Hopefully that makes sense, because that is huge right there. Make it crisp. The island, oh, good one. Guardians of the Galaxy, of course. Quantum Leap, oh. Oh, Ryan Benoit, good to see you, buddy. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know why it's locking up your uh, machine. Also, Ryan, I don't know if you talked to Rocky, but anyways, we'll we'll have to stay in touch. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try something here that may or may not work. Yeah, I liked Gattaca. We're gonna we're gonna act like this. Um, I, actually, you know, maybe I'll throw in more fish and then we'll work on the glowing. I was wondering if I add a glow to the fish. That's all. Do I add a glow? Because again, this, sure it's a fish, but it's a fish in space. So does it have some sort of glowiness to it? 
okay? So that's what I'm working on right now. Change that to... Again, it's just an idea that might not work, like most of my ideas. Who knows if they actually work? It's okay. I don't know, guys. I'm just, I'm just trying things. Because I, I like the idea of this light sort of maybe it's it's dark and this fish is kind of glowing and uh, the, all that light is bouncing off the suit and the edge of the glove and all that fun stuff Ooh, the last starfighter oh i like that the last starfighter hmm i love 80s sci-fi movies all right so maybe that's all the glow it needs bear with me Uh, uh, uh. Uh, maybe to sell it more, we need white, right? Because right in here, this white is glowing. Sample this on his head. go into the blues and don't worry I'm gonna do something new here again this might not work uh, I'm gonna take this fish we're gonna blur it I don't know why I rasterized it but that's okay So I put a blurry fish over the top of the crisp fish. And let's just undo this because I don't like the fact that I rasterized it. So now we're gonna go back in here. We will blur, do a Gaussian blur. Scanners, oh wow, Empire Strikes Back. Space Hunter, oh, I don't know Space Hunter. I don't think I know Space Hunter and I feel bad, I feel like I should. Running Man, slow clap. It's been a minute, Wesley Snipes. All right, so here's our glowy fish. And if we change this to like overlay or something, let's just see how this looks. I'm turning off the other glows. So there's the original, there's our sort of uh, overlay. And I don't know guys, I don't, I don't think it's working, but you know what, I wanted to try it. Oh, hard light seems to work well, just to kind of give it a little bit of glow. But again, I don't think this is quite working. Um, but I'm not quite ready to give up. Because Road Warrior, yes. Planet of the Apes, Buckaroo Banzai. Oh. What is it, Buckaroo Bun Banzai in the fifth dimension or something like that? So my question for you guys, I don't think this glow is working, so I'm gonna abandon it for now. Okay, it's just not quite working. We'll just throw this in a folder, call it glow. We'll revisit later. Okay, turn that off. Because I think these little guys are doing great on their own. Let's throw some more in here, right? I love to have some kind of wrapping around uh, his shoulder or backpack or something, right? Maybe that one has the right angle. There's this one that's gorgeous. We have this lovely one. Ooh, this looks nice. Want to create a little bit of depth? 
Maybe I do it with this one. Adjust the contrast. Right in here, throw a mask on it. Jump in here. Chop that like so. Buckaroo Bonsai, Life Force. Let's have a little bit of separation. Do something kind of like that. Push it a little further by making it a little darker. I don't know, maybe something like that. <sighs> All right. The man who fell to earth. <laughs> yeah, I think the fun part is like having these like, I love the idea of having these fish um, kind of weaving in and out, like, right in here, like, having that, like, is that fish, like, going under that or something like that? Again, just having some fun, checking the time. It's been 30 minutes. We have, uh, a full day plan for you. I don't know, maybe that's not, uh, I might do a different cable and have it kind of come in front or something like this. This one might not work. Uh, brightness contrast, let's take the contrast down. We're just that fish, boom. Maybe we'll make him a touch smaller. Space balls, ah, yes. Space balls. Oh, pixel squid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, oh. okay. That's what we need. You're right. Okay. So, um, good call, um, Carol. So this could use some wires and some could use some tubes coming out at you. So we need to also play with uh, depth of field, right? I love doing any of that stuff. Um, uh, just to kind of sell, sell the, uh, sell the illusion. Masters of the universe. Yeah. Speaking my language. Oh, by the way, I got, I got all sorts of things I could show you guys. Got plenty of masters of the universe over there and Marvel and transformers and all this stuff. Okay. Sharpen this up some more. I got to sharpen this up some more and then I will move on. Astronaut. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in a smart object. Or maybe I won't. Ah, I think I will, sure. I'm so indecisive. Sharpen up that suit a touch. Right before, after. Click OK. Right, because those fish are so crisp, we need to make that happen. All right, we'll just paint in some shadows. Any big plans for the weekend, anyone? Huh? I would love to hear what you guys have going on.
Move this over. This is really fun. I could easily work on this like all day long, just playing with painting, you know, adding these shadows. A lot of times you need to add the, use the same color because that's like getting kind of dirty. So let's make sure we're using the correct color when it comes to like painting in these shadows and stuff. Right, and a lot of times, you know, if I wanted to get really into it, I'm trying to make him not look muddy. He looks a little muddy. Right, so I think I overdid the shadows there. It's okay. Okay. Ah, Mars attacks. Biola's going to a party and I wasn't invited. Can I go to the party too, Biola? We had a tiki party last weekend. It was very successful. I think so. At least it seems like people had a good time. All right, so there's a wonderful fish right there. We have our fish over here. Let's do some more. Just, just kind of running around, you know, like there. And the cool thing is, is we're going to add a little bit of blur to the things that are closer to the quote unquote camera. All right, adding a brightening, uh, excuse me, a brightness contrast adjustment layer, painting on it with black to get rid of. There we go. Just so that dark, so that part of the, the tail is of course darker. Okay, put that back like that. And that's pretty good. All right, let's throw some more in here because they're so colorful and gorgeous. There's my buddy. He's a little hard to see. Maybe we'll grab some more and throw them in there. Ooh, attending classes. Hey man, I love John Paul. I get it. Like college is tough, by the way. I never got as little amount of sleep as I did when I was in college. I hope you're studying something that you love, but uh, so that makes all the difference. Art school, I didn't sleep at all, but I had a blast. Okay, where's my one file? So what I did in here is I you could do uh, layers, uh, uh, excuse me, files to, to stack. So I grabbed all these photos and I put them all in one PSD, which is what I started with by using this script right here. So load files into stack. So I usually load everything into a stack and then I start sort of cutting everything out and um, using them like I'm doing now. Let's look at some of these guys. Okay, this is good. This one's kind of going the other direction. This one's good here. Uh, that one's nice. Okay, so let's get this going. Oh, why did I? Cut it, let's copy, paste. <sighs> Remove background. Weird signs. Classic. Classic Val Kilmer, huh? Who didn't want to be Val Kilmer in uh, Weird Science? Okay, there we go. Three new fish coming to the party. Oh yeah, real genius. Yep. Wally. The Saint. Okay, things are slowing down. I realize I did not save my file. You want to know what else is going on in the background? Wait, I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh, that wasn't Weird Science? Yeah, wasn't it Val Kilmer in Weird Science? Or am I getting all my lines crossed? Anyways. 
Feel free. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm cutting out fish and realizing I only have about 10 minutes left before we should have some uh, a video masterclass. Let me check the schedule. Replacing a video background. Yes. Uh, anima animating text. And then I'm back for some... Uh, my final daily creative challenge where I'm going to get all choked up because it's the last day. Look at this guy. He needs to be cleaned up more. Yeah, I think Val Kilmer was in, he was in Weird Science. Wait, hold on. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what 80, 80s movie did they have a big laser hit a house that was filled with popcorn, so all this popcorn popped. Wasn't that Weird Science? Because that was Val Kilmer. And then there's the weird science with, um, oh, where they make the woman. Anyways, I'm doing too many things at once. All right, there we go. Kind of got rid of some of that stuff. Let's move them in. Ah, there it is. There he is. There he is. Boom, 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 boom. Shrink him down. Uh, Transcendence, I'm just noticing Arsalan. Hey, buddy. have like a fish pass in front of the helmet so my whole goal is to actually animate this as well uh, this is good Am I going to put a cat inside the helmet? I don't know. It might be fun. I think for the final version, it's probably not going to have a cat in the helmet. But I do, uh, you know, I think that might be a good idea. And I'm going to change. Uh, no, actually, I keep the size the, the way it is. So here we have this. 
we don't have any of that lighting, by the way, coming from the, uh, well, his right side, my left, from basically the left side. We don't have that going on. So I'd actually need to start painting that on all of these lovely, lovely characters. There we go. Love Escape from New York. Uh, add the the Doge Dog Sh Shivu Inu. And that would be funny. Might need to be a little bit of separation over here. I kind of want to do a close up. So let's take another fish. Let's just take this fish. Hold on. Wait for it. Maybe this one. Oh, by the way, I'm so silly. Why do I keep doing this? I really just need to take this whole file and say remove, or this whole layer and do a uh, remove background. That might save me time. All right. Now I can just jump like and isolate. Who knows? It's fine. Yeah. I must say I'm having I'm having a lot of fun with this. Ooh, here's some gorgeous ones. Here's a new file that I um, haven't been using, but it's got some gorgeous fish in here too. Okay, so just to even step back, oh, gremlins. Yep. Inner space, ah, oh. slow clap for these shows that I have not, I haven't even thought of in like 40 years, or excuse me, about 30 years, but thank you, thank you for that. Just trying to find the right fish that's gonna be in the foreground. Which one is it gonna be? Because it needs to look like, it needs to be, have a side view. Ah, this one. There it is, found it. This one. Not that one. Hold on the shift key, you're able to select that layer with that object. Let's make that a smart object. We'll blur it out. So we're going to do some fun stuff like that. Blur out that fish. Have some cables coming through that are also kind of blurred out as well. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be fun stuff, and then I'm going to animate it because I'm actually downloading um, a bunch of files just so you know um, that uh, I'll go ahead and swap them out for 
these actual animated fish. So that's the plan, but I'm working on the composite now, just as you can tell. It's almost like, you know, I'm, I'm creating the still and then I'll actually make an animated version. So uh, that's the plan. It's gonna be really cool. If you could imagine this, I mean, this is another thing. It's look like this, this guy's floating in space. Of course, it's no, no stretch of the imagination. Uh, you know, would you end up with something like this? But that's where it's at now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to continue to work on this. I appreciate you, Reverb Mike and Cody Bear and Clever and everyone just taking a trip down, I don't know, the movie memory lane with all my favorite movies. So we'll see you in about an hour. Thanks so much, everybody. See ya. Bye.